Hello, my Cancer babies. Welcome to your general reading for September 20th through the 26th for anyone with Cancer in their sun, moon, or rising. Uh, cross watchers, you are more than welcome here. Just keep in mind that the energy can show up reversed for you. And again, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what does not, okay? Um, so this week is fun. <laughs> We're kicking it off with the full moon, okay? The harvest full moon here on the 20th. Um, we're also in the shadow period for Mercury retrograde, okay? This will be starting the following week. So, prepare for triggers, okay? Prepare for things to come up. It's in the collective. It's in the energy, okay? And knowledge is power. But we're going to kick off the reading with a Divine Feminine Oracle card. Doesn't matter your gender. We both have feminine and masculine energies, Okay. So this is the goddess of compassion. I love that. This is so perfect for you guys right now. I recognize suffering in order to release it. Curiosity breeds compassion. Okay, so get curious about why you're being triggered, about what emotions are coming up, about what maybe you thought you already healed, okay? So you guys this week are showing up as Leo energy with the sun in the reverse, okay? Um, you could be feeling confused, okay? Um, even depressed, down the dumps, okay? Anxious, worried. This could even be paranoia. It'll differ for a lot of you, but you can feel something's not right. Um, you may feel like you don't know what it is or where it's coming from, okay? Or maybe it's just the full moon that has me emotional. Yes, but for a purpose, okay? Your shadow card is the Hierophant, Taurus energy, okay? This is all about your spirituality. A lot of you um, are in darkness right now, but it's leading to an awakening, okay? Some of you can be talking about a marriage, okay? Your um, challenge is the Three of Wands. So this is moving into the new chapter, okay? We've been talking about it for a little bit. Um, bracing ourselves, preparing, okay? But this could be travel for you, okay? This could be, um, I'm definitely just getting the vibe like moving into calmer waters, okay? So let's clarify with the sun in the reverse for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the artist, the moon with Pisces energy, but Cancer, that's you too, okay? Water is heck. <laughs> and the ace of pentacles in the reverse yeah so there's just like a lot of confusion right now you're trying to figure out how to start this new beginning um it's really just honestly backing up what i said okay but the universe wants you to know here that with the artist okay you're holding if i can pick it up the paintbrush cancer okay you get to decide what things look like now okay it doesn't have to be you sitting in the dark and wondering anymore you can take yourself out of it and that makes sense because your challenge card is the action card okay so there's definitely absolutely still shadow work to do yes but you're getting the green light from the universe saying you have learned enough to open the door here okay you can learn as you go you don't have to have it all figured out and that could be um as I said that, I noticed that I was recording for three minutes and 33 seconds. Like, that just stuck out to me. So, um, synchrony, you guys, okay? Look for signs from the universe, okay? You're ready. It's okay. You don't know what everything looks like. Allow the universe to breadcrumb you opportunities. Your job is to discover the what and the why, okay? Um, which is a lot of what the moon talks about with your shadow card. I will be putting out this week... Um, you guys are getting your reading a little bit early because I'm doing the full moon shadow work videos. It's the perfect time. I love doing it by the moon cycle and, you know, with Mercury retrograde, we all need it. Anyway, <laughs> three of wands, clarifying that, okay? I'm definitely sensing a lot of anxiety, okay? The lovers, wow, in the reverse, okay? The ten of cups and the seven of pentacles in the reverse, The challenge is moving on from possibly a relationship or an idea of love that you had, something you um, were holding on to, very attached to, okay? Spent a long time planning, daydreaming, wondering how to make it work, okay? But um, 
yeah, you're heading in a different direction. And it could be alone, but it's for your own good, okay, with the Ten of Cups here. This, it feels like such a loss, which is why you could be showing up as depressed, okay, um, or sadness or worried, but this is for your highest good, okay? And as I say that, I'm looking at your Oracle card. I recognize suffering in order to release it. Get curious. Be compassionate with yourself. This is all about the idea of love, the idea of what you see as, um, as a family, um, what you want, seek in a partner, okay? You're going to be learning ego attachments for soul necessity, okay? Your focus is the nine of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, so there's that loss and that's where your thoughts are, okay? And that's where um, you're kind of stuck, okay? The universe is saying it's time for you to move on from this. And it's hard because there's still a lot of pain there, a lot of attachment, a lot of love, a lot of safety and picking up um, <clears throat> comfort zone, okay? And the nine of pentacles is pre-empress energy. So this was like, it was like almost everything you needed, right? It was almost it. And so that's hard. So be compassionate with yourself, okay? It's time to look at the situation from um, a spiritual point of view. We saw the Hierophant earlier, okay? How you can grow from this. What lessons you can learn to bring balance to that Ace of Pentacles that we saw in the reverse, okay? We need a solid foundation to stand on and the lessons that you learn from your pain can become the strongest, okay? So clarifying the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse, which is exactly what I was just saying. So self-inflicted energy, but this is you removing the blindfold. You're like, I have to look at this. I can either sit here day after day and suffer or I can look at this. And you can always go back to putting the blindfold on, okay? <laughs> That's the truth. The King of Swords, okay? page of wands yeah so you are just trying to like learn about something and speak your truth okay I do see you when I say learn about something I see you kind of like watching others okay um but I don't know that it's in a toxic way be mindful of the energy because sometimes the page of wands can be it can be ego attachments or spying okay it's not um helpful but, but the page of wands can also just be watching because something within them identifies with someone else that they see and they're trying to study that and learn what it is within this person that they recognize within themselves so for example okay if you have a friend okay and they're very good at speaking their truth or looking at the bright side, okay, and you admire that and you see that within them, somewhere within you, you just have to remove the blindfold, that exists within you. And I see you going through that and I see you trying to learn how to speak your truth with clarity, with boundaries, okay? So there's a lot of sadness here and a lot of loss, but you're learning and I see you becoming an authentic version of yourself. And that's beautiful under the surface, Cancer. So please, 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 okay, be compassionate with yourselves, my babies. In the past, the Four of Swords in the reverse, okay? There was an opportunity to learn these lessons. And I see you possibly neglecting yourself, okay? <sighs> Hard stuff, not really wanting to look at it, right? And then we lack self-care and then it gets harder, right? We, we're putting more um, on our plate, okay? Um, digging a deeper hole for ourselves to climb out of, okay? To get to somewhere that we just have to go. But you may not have been ready yet, okay? This can also be like a withdrawn or resentful energy. King of Cups, the Page of Swords in the reverse, the Well in the reverse. Yeah, so it's almost like you were watching someone, but it um, caused resentment and you weren't sharing, okay, how you were feeling. Um, mm, it was a self-destructive energy here, okay? The King of Cups, um, he has a full cup of love and he doesn't want to extend it to anyone, but I see you struggling to keep your own cup full in the past. Okay, so be mindful of that. That might be a habit 
or a cycle for you or a pattern that you're being asked to look at right now, okay? Because you don't want to go back to that. You want to move forward here into calmer waters, okay? More Leo energy. There's been so much Leo energy in the readings I'm doing so far. It's kind of really beautiful, okay? That fiery passion, that having strength to face your demons, okay? Going on. Speaking of strength, I love this. You guys are the first spread so far for this week. And the Ten of uh, Swords just tried to pop out here. Um, that doesn't have the direct message because that one is attached to it. But hold on. <laughs> Queen of Cups, that is your energy cancer. Beautiful. Lots of love. Your strength is how you love, how compassionate you are, how nurturing, empathetic, a very motherly energy energy again gender not specific okay you just have the ability to nurture others people feel safe with you um you may be one of those people where it's like oh my god everybody like tells me their life story right like i just have a trustworthy face i don't know but it's because your energy is very loving very nurturing very calming something a lot of us may have missed out on okay when we were growing up and that's in our shadow to work through but that's your strength and i know before i clarify it's going to ask you to give that to yourself because of the lesson that we just spoke about in the past, okay? Now, we did just see the Ten of Swords pop out, okay? That's feeling betrayal, like you can't go on living this way anymore, okay? And I feel like that's in neglect of yourself, but let's see what comes out. Four of Wands, Knight of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, so there might be an opportunity here also, okay? Where you can... And I don't, hmm, I don't want to say you're making an offer, okay? If the King of Cups was here, I'd say yes, you're definitely making an offer, but it's the Knight of Swords. So you may have been teeter-tottering back and forth on um, making an offer, offering someone commitment, okay? But now I see it as you're seeking closure and what you need for that, okay? Because the Ace of Cups here in reverse right so there's a block there our cup is not full is compassion and nurture from yourself okay this may be reparenting okay but the four of wands is definitely showing up with the closure okay be kind to yourself with your thoughts that's what i say your biggest battle is right now okay you're just looking for your happiness and that's beautiful but don't go into blaming mode okay you speak to yourself how you would to a child. That's exactly what your soul needs. Going forward. Oh, <laughs> beautiful. The Six of Swords. Literally moving on into calmer waters, okay? This can be a breakup, okay? Again, this is entering a new chapter, okay? And the Six of Swords, they keep their boat light, okay? They take with them. They remember, okay? The battles they've been through. It's not ever supposed to be a forgive and forget. It's supposed to be a forgive and learn, okay? And you carry those lessons with you, and that's exactly what's happening. He's taking the knowledge he's learned, okay? He's going to make alchemy here, almost, okay? With pain from the past while they move on, okay? This is someone moving on. They have leveled up. They've mastered the lessons, okay? And they're ready for a new way. This can definitely be in um, career also, okay? Realizing your worth for a lot of you or connecting with your passion. Now, clarifying the Six of Swords, we have uh, ooh, Pisces energy, High Priestess in reverse. Sometime after your shadow work video is out, the next video I'm doing for the Major Arcana shadow work series will be the High Priestess, okay? So keep your eye open for that. It will have a lot of information there. This is about, you're moving on, but still carrying pain, okay? Um, uh, at the same time though, I'd love to see that the Knight of Pentacles is right here in the middle. It's like the Ace of Wands in reverse, the High Priestess in the reverse. This is secrets, okay? A delay, a block. You may not be speaking to somebody. You may cut somebody off, leave somebody behind, okay? You may be moving into this new phase without speaking your truth, but I'm hesitant to say that because the Knight of Pentacles here in the middle is somebody that's focused and grounded, okay? So you will know within you, okay, Cancer, 
if you're honoring things. Let's see what your advice is. The Five of Wands. Conflict. Miscommunication. But this is also hurting, like saying things to hurt each other. Just that, you know, you're triggered and now you're pissed, right? <laughs> um, this can also be mental conflict as well. Let's clarify here. Yeah, so you could be in conflict with someone, but I'm seeing here that your advice, okay, is that you need to speak your truth, okay? We see here in the future you're moving on with some kind of secrets, okay, or no communication, but you need to communicate something for your stability, okay, because it's from your soul, Okay, the Knight of Wands is um, very passionate, very determined, very impulsive. So be careful in your approach. Okay. But your advice here is absolutely to communicate here. Okay. Communicate your truth. Now, in what you don't see coming with the Two of Cups in the reverse. So again, we saw this earlier and this isn't really, I don't know. Um... If a lot of you are in communication right now with your person, but right now this is a separation, okay? So a lot of you, this is um, rejection, okay? Struggling to accept the end. The two of wands just flew out. Yeah, it's like trying to, you feel like you're at a fork in the road, okay? And you're trying to evaluate which way do I go here, okay? The world cycles coming to an end here six of wands in the reverse but you're going to feel it's going to be rough you're going to feel like you've lost something okay so prepare yourself for that okay you're being asked to communicate your truth what you need to be aware of is that you may separate from somebody okay in a relationship and a friendship a family member a company if this is about work okay but this is divinely guided here this is exactly what needs to happen you're supposed to do this. You have to release something, okay? And your hopes and fears is the tower. So <laughs> whatever it is I'm saying is probably very triggering and your soul agrees, okay? But it's needed. There's a crack in the foundation, okay? It can't support this any longer. Scorpio energy here. This is truth coming out. Two of swords in the reverse. Eight of cups in the reverse. The seven of swords in the reverse. This is you returning back to yourself with no mask, no blindfold, no wall, okay? Meeting yourself in your vulnerability, and it's very uncomfortable, which is why you're being asked to have compassion, which is why your strength position is to show yourself love and nurture and gain that closure, okay? You're being truly asked to close us out, which makes sense why um, going forward, your card is the devil, Capricorn energy, Okay, this is dealing with your shadow, my loves. This is it. Okay, so brace yourselves. Okay, seek support if you need it. Absolutely. Okay, anything that's been buried, swept under the rug. Okay, this could be addiction. Okay, um, patterns. Okay, cycles. <sighs> A lot. Okay, anything that's just like an obsession and attachment, wanting to control the outcome. Okay, um, anything that comes from ego, anything that feels like you can't live without the universe is going to humble you okay oh these want to flop out here we are okay so the hierophant is here again more scorpio energy with death page of pentacles nine of swords in the reverse you're being asked to face your fears here accept you're a student and that it's okay to not have all the answers this is a learning process here okay devote yourself to studying to learning to healing okay to doing the shadow work for your spiritual growth leave the pain behind it sounds scary yes but it's the most beautiful gift you will ever give yourself okay now because we did see a lot of the relationship stuff coming up i'm going to pull the romance angel oracles for you oh we got two soulmate yes this is your soulmate and this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek okay and we see that with the returns and the coming back okay so a lot of you may be involved in a not only soulmate but twin uh flame dynamic 
okay? For twin flames to reunite, okay? They have to go through this, the both of them, okay? To have the love that your soul will identify with, okay? And that you both signed up for in the contract, right? So that's what I'm seeing for you this week. My Cancer Babies, keep um, a lookout for your shadow work video. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe. Comment below if this resonated. Hit that like button. But most of all, be kind to yourselves. I love you. Bye.